Alcalde, buenos días, good morning, eh, ¿cómo está? I'm doing good, you know, I'm, my uh, family's in town, so I get a chance to say hi, and uh, certainly there's a lot going on in the city right now. Así es, eh, un montón de cosas están pasando ahorita mismo. Me encantaría eh, que platicáramos un poco. La última vez que el alcalde y yo tuvimos la oportunidad para platicar fue días antes de que eh, entráramos en toque de queda. Alcalde, oh, nos pudiera dar una actualización de lo más reciente que está pasando en cuanto a COVID y todo lo que se relaciona con esto aquí en Austin. Well, two things I think are worth noting. Uh -huh. uh, and the first one is, is that Obviously, this, this virus hits hardest populations that are, that are most susceptible, uh, meaning that they uh, have a lot of workers that can't stay home, that actually have to go out and expose themselves to the virus. At one point, 70% of the people being hospitalized uh, with this virus uh, were uh, uh, Hispanic. But that number, we've been working really hard to try and bring that number down. If this past week, the number of uh, percent of hospitalizations in the Latino community went down to 43%. Uh, and uh, it's been a generally downward trend. So we were uh, excited to see that. At the same time, the uh, percent infected in our community, mm -hmm. under 5% for the white population, about 6.5% for the community overall. Uh, but 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 just under 10% for the Latino community. Uh, so there's still a challenge in front of us, but the numbers are headed in the right direction. That percentage number has gone down um, each of the last um, uh, four weeks. Uh, uh, so we're headed again in the right direction. But I just want to thank everybody in the community for, for really wearing the masks, doing the social distancing more and more. We find that people are doing that in the community and it's really helping. The second thing to note, this past weekend was Labor Day weekend. My fingers are crossed that we're not going to see an uptick. We'll just have to wait and see. Así es, el Labor Day acaba de pasar. Esperemos que en dos semanas no, no veamos eh, que estos números crecen, ya que hasta a cierto punto 70% de los casos de hospitalizaciones eran hispanos y ahora somos eh, 43% y todo por el uso de cubrebocas. Y hablando sobre los cubrebocas, creo que es muy importante de que como no siempre hay oficiales que pueden enforzar las reglas de los cubrebocas, fue muy importante que los negocios, alcalde, eh, ayudaran tanto todos los negocios con su roto lo que dice use cubrebocas, ¿verdad? <laughs> you know, again, I want to thank businesses for what they've done and to remind yes. businesses they can't let up. Yeah. I mean, what we're doing right now is working, but we know that cities across the country where they start having good numbers, everybody starts relaxing because they think it's over and Así then es. they get right back into that roller coaster ride again. So yep. I want to thank the businesses for what the businesses have done, big and small, but you're absolutely right. Yeah. Um, we don't have enough police officers and, and, and deputy sheriffs to enforce this. It's something that we, we really have to enforce on ourselves. It's something that we have to want to do to, in order to, to protect our families and our parents and our grandparents. Uh, but the businesses are a big help. Así es, eh, los negocios han sido una ayuda muy grande con todo esto. Negocios grandes y chicos ayudando a asegurarnos de que estemos enforzando todas las reglas de, de, de el, eh, ¿cómo se dice? del cubrebocas. Eh, ¿Qué significa la declaración de desastre la cual extendió el gobernador de Texas, alcalde? What does what it all mean? Well, it means that this isn't over, uh, which is really true. And that's the message statewide. I've yeah. extended my disaster declaration here locally as well. Well, uh -huh. I think this is something that we're just going to be living with and the extension of those orders uh, until there's a vaccine. We have a program out right now, RISE program, that people can be applying for next week okay. uh, to get uh, a cash payment uh, to help tide them over. Uh, you can contact the city this week to see if you're eligible and next week mm -hmm. you're starting to apply. And then since there's There's more need than we have money. There's going to be a lottery for that check, but there's rent assistance and the rent program uh, that people can, 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 can access. And when we do those kinds of things, we get reimbursed for a lot of it, not yeah. all of it, but we get a lot of it reimbursed 
Así es, eh, muchas de las veces estas declaraciones de emergencia nos ayudan para asegurarnos de que haya fondos para toda la gente que necesita este, este dinero. Y obviamente esta declaración de emergencia significa que aún no salimos de esta. Y hablando de salir, muy pronto los niños van a tener que salir. Alcalde, AISD abre sus escuelas en cuatro semanas. Eh, ¿Cuáles son aquellas recomendaciones para los padres y estudiantes que van a tener que regresar? a clases en cuatro semanas. Well, the first thing is to know that the school officials are working really closely with the Austin public health officials uh, to, to make sure that, that we're doing things and the schools are doing things in absolutely the safest way possible, which is why when they do open classrooms, they're not uh -huh. going to open it up with everybody. It's going to be a limited number of students so that they can be spread out a little bit more. The best thing we can do as a community uh -huh. To help ensure that schools stay safe is to drive down the infection level generally. Así es. So the most important thing people can be doing is wearing their masks. Yeah. And, and staying six feet apart. Mm -hmm. Then schools will be safer. Schools are not operating by themselves. Así They es. operate within the larger community. So the safest thing, the thing we can do. Yeah. And it requires all of us doing yep. it. La ayuda de todos. Is to not do big barbecues with yep. the family. Yep. Uh, and friends. Uh -huh. uh, it's really to, to drive down the infection as much as we can. That'll keep schools going the best. Así es, eh, como menciona el alcalde, o sea, las escuelas no, en, no están tomando estas decisiones, solo se están basando en la información que tenemos de Austin Public Health y obviamente la manera que nosotros podemos ayudar es obviamente no haciendo eventos grandes, no yendo a fiestas, eh, usando cubrebocas, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Y de eso eh, platicamos a cosas un poco diferente. Alcalde, hemos estado viendo al gobernador eh, de Texas, Greg Abbott, eh, tuitear, eh, decir, en entrevistas de que él quiere tomar control del de Austin Police Department porque no quiere que nos convirtamos en una ciudad como eh, hemos visto en Seattle o, o Portland donde hay demasiados riots, donde hay demasiados eh, problemas. Eh, sé que usted ya hizo un comentario, pero me encantaría preguntarle a ver si podemos expander en, en lo que usted dijo, alcalde. Sure. Well, I think the, the most important thing for your, for your listeners to know is that Austin is the safest big city in Texas. Yeah. Uh, and we're one of the handful of the safest cities in the entire country. Wow. Uh, and we're going to stay safe because that is our number one priority. Public safety is most important to us. Uh, you haven't seen the, 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 the rioting and the looting and the fires here in Austin that you see in a lot of other cities. Uh, last year, we just got uh, the state statistics, okay. uh, and it showed that crime was up in, in cities all across the, the, the state. Okay. Uh, but Austin, you know, we had a, an, a 83% of our increase were in larcenies. Oh, wow. Uh, but if you take that out, uh, then, then and, and, and auto theft, then we're pretty much flat. Wow. Uh, rapes were down, murders flat, burglaries down, robberies down. This is a safe city. I think as we get closer and closer to the November election, okay. we're going to hear more and more posturing by by leaders and, and people leading up to the election. We see the president doing that at a national level uh -huh. right now. Um, I'm trying really hard not to get caught up in, in kind of the political rhetoric and, and scaring people to gain an advantage in an election. I'm just going to stay focused on keeping people safe as I can with the virus and keeping our city uh, to, re to remain as one of the safest in the state and in the country. Uh, that's the real work. El alcalde teme de que lo que está diciendo el gobernador es solo... Eh, retórica que tiene que ver con las elecciones para asegurarse de que eh, obviamente él gane eh, o vuelva a ser reelegido, ya que Austin, dice el alcalde, es una de las ciudades más seguras, especialmente por eh, su tamaño, que según los datos que vienen del Estado, básicamente estamos bajos en todos los crímenes, o sea, todos los crímenes van en declina, todos los problemas de la ciudad van en declina. Alcalde, eh, ¿cuál es su mensaje para todos los que nos escuchan? Para mí mi amigo y mi amiga que va en su carro ahorita que va en latino127.com en 1071lazeta.com en las aplicaciones cuál es su mensaje para ellos Well you're absolutely right we are in this 
all together. Yeah. Uh, and I'm really proud and, and uh, to be in a city uh, that from the very beginning has been focused on protecting everyone that lives in our community, regardless of what party they're in, regardless of whether they have documentation or not. So the Austin city government has been focused on making sure that everybody in this city has to the greatest extent possible the resources, the support that they need, the information that they need, so that families can make good decisions for their for their children. And I'm also proud to be part of a community that's been responsive. The, the people in the community have, have, have stood up to the task that they've done and are doing what it is that they need to do. I just urge everybody, don't let up. Even though the numbers look a little better now, they only look better because of what we've been doing. I and as soon as we stop doing them, the numbers will get bad again. So everybody stay vigilant, stay determined. Y él dice que su misión eh, y su responsabilidad es asegurarnos de que todos estemos sanos y salvos aquí en Austin. Eh, alcalde, muchas gracias por su tiempo y espero que podamos volver a hacer esto muy pronto. I hope we do this on a regular basis. <risa>